Mendocino County, California. Boutique wineries, microbreweries, and champagne cellars in this county north of San Francisco, soaring ancient redwoods in the Northern California mountains, and the cool waters of the vast Pacific beckon you to visit. Have fun paddleboarding, kayaking the coast, sailing on the open waters, fishing in mountain streams, mountain biking on coastal and inland trails. This is Spotlight on Mendocino County. Our moderator is Heidi Kusick Dickerson, author of Mendocino Roots and Ridges. Today's Spotlight is Women in Wine. Our guests are Suzanne Yonke McConnell, co-owner of Ravino in Ukiah, Deanna Starr, co-owner of Milano Winery in Hoplet, Stephanie Riven, winemaker at Signal Ridge in Anderson Valley, Christy Charles, co-owner of Foresight Wines in Anderson Valley, Deb Schatzlein, co-owner of Bink Wines in Anderson Valley, Deborah Wallow, co-owner of Yorkville Cellars in Yorkville, Eliza Fry, co-owner of Fry Vineyards in Redwood Valley, and Martha Barra, co-owner of Barra of Mendocino in Redwood Valley. Hi, I'm Heidi Cusick Dickerson, and I am here today um, with Spotlight on Mendocino County, focusing on women in the Mendocino County wine industry. And I have the pleasure and honor to be sitting here with eight women from Mendocino County who all have very unique stories to tell about what they're doing. I have a book that I just wrote called Mendocino Roots and Ridges, and it profiles 67 wineries in Mendocino County, of which almost everybody is in this book, and the, it tells their stories. So um, that's why I'm here, and I would like to start with Suzanne. Um, I'm Suzanne Yonke McConnell. Uh, I got into the wine industry close to 20 years ago when I moved to Mendocino County and moved on to my family's uh, vineyard. Started out by helping in the office, uh, doing some of the payroll for the vineyard employees. Jason and I ended up uh, opening our winery that's uh, called Ravino. Um, we called it Ravino because it's right on the Russian River. We make five different varieties, Chardonnay, Viognier, San Giovese, uh, Bordeaux blend we call Sedulous, and uh, Cabernet Franc. So we have a tasting room there and we're open seven days a week. I'm the winemaker at Milano Family Winery. My husband and I bought Milano 14 years ago. It's actually the oldest winery in uh, Hopland area. It started in 1977 and we bought it from the original owner who built the hop barn on it in 1947 when his son turned the building into a winery in 1977. And we do um, Primarily reds there, uh, but I also do a lot of what I call the unique varietals. Carignan, Charbonneau, Petit Verdot is a single uh, bottling varietal, Val de Gay. Um, we do a lot of blends. I do some whites, and we're also known for dessert wines, ports, and red harvests that we do. I also have kind of a petting zoo there. My husband and I years ago owned a pet store, and we have uh, sheep and goats and large land tortoises and chickens and geese um, all running around on the property. Uh, consuming all the excess things that grow beautifully here in Minnesota County. Thanks, Deanna. And Stephanie? Hi, I'm Stephanie Riven. I'm a part of the winemaking team at Signal Ridge Vineyards, a newer winery. We uh, are about to release our first wine, and uh, it's all from a 16-acre vineyard up on the ridge top in Mendocino, and we have Pinot Noir and Zinfandel, and we also source some Alsatian varietals and a wine for make, or a grapes for making sparkling wine. And what is the sparkling wine? It's uh, made in the Method Traditionnel. It's Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. I think we should have a taste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's a cigarette. <laughs> Single <ridge. laughs> My name is Christy Charles. Um, I'm with Foresight Wines. My family has been in Boonville here in the Anderson Valley for four generations, so that's what we're named after. And we're a family business. Basically, there are four of us that um, do about 15 acres of grapes. We do Pinot, Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon. And we make our own wines, we sell our own wines. Um, we're a very small operation, and um, everything's on site. We have a little tasting room, and little winery, and little vineyard in Boonville. My name's Deb Schatzlein, and I'm owner and winemaker for Pink Wines. We're a very small operation in Philo. Um, we have a vineyard um, uh, in just outside of Boonville, um, here in the Anderson Valley, and uh, we um, are known for our flagship wine, which is Shiraz, and 
that's where our name comes from. The French call it the black ink grape, therefore our name is uh, Bink. And um, our, my partner and I are from an environmental background, and um, uh, we do everything through an environmental lens. Eliza, you're here representing a large family, so tell us how, what your role is. Yeah, that's right. Um, I'm Eliza Fry with Fry Vineyards, and we're in inland Mendocino County in the Redwood Valley Appalachian. And um, also, like Deb, we are, um, my family is very invested in organic agriculture, so we were one of the first organic wineries in the world. It started almost 35 years ago. We produce a full line of organic and biodynamic wines, various whites and reds, and some blends as well. Yeah, so my grandparents planted the grapes, and then my dad's generation were the first in winemaking, and we're still very family-owned and operated, and I've been involved in all aspects of the business, from winemaking to marketing, and everything in between, so. And you're the third generation, correct? I am the third generation. Mm -hmm. um, my grandparents bought the property, and, um, 55 years ago. I'm Martha Barra from Barra Mendocino in Teresa Lake Vineyards. We farm about 200 acres of certified organic grapes, certified through California Certified Organic Farmers uh, in Redwood Valley, very close to Eliza Fry. Uh, we have uh, 10 different varietals, and uh, how did I get into the wine business? Well, I married Charlie Barra, my husband, 34 years ago. Charlie is finishing his 69th harvest this year. Started when he was in high school. So ours too is all family. Um, my son, my daughter, uh, Charlie and I are, are the principals in our, in our wine operation. We also have a custom crush facility. Um, we are small compared to Fry. We make about 20,000 cases of wine selling to 35 different states in five foreign countries. But it keeps us all very, very busy. Thanks, Martha and Deb from Yorkville. I'm Deborah Waller from Yorkville Cellars. And I came into the business with my husband in the mid 80s when we took a trip up to this beautiful area and found a lovely piece of land in uh, southern Mendocino County, what's now known as the Yorkville Highlands. And we set about planting the Bordeaux varieties there. And so we have all eight of the traditional Bordeaux varietals. And from those varietals, we make now many wines because we make single varietals and blends and rosés and even a sparkling wine. So uh, this year is our 20th year um, as a winery. And we're celebrating, in fact, with the largest number of, of wines we've ever produced. I think it's up to 17 now. Um, some very small production, of course. Like um, Martha and, and the Fries, we are certified organic and we did start um, from day one being an organic farmers and have continued to do that. And um, I think that's all I have to say now. <laughs> Talking about snapshots, this, these your snapshots of the variety and the depth of what goes on in Mendocino County is just really moving and wonderful. Um, tell me, let's kind of open the discussion up to what makes it special. What makes Mendocino County stand out and spe be special from your points of view? 